Coming to the ring here, the current Warrior Wrestling Champion, a man alone, no longer with his wolf pack. He walks alone, Trey Miguel, the current Warrior Wrestling Champion. Of course, he took that title from another wrestler who has been lighting the world on fire as of late. You may have seen him in his uh, the Dark Side of the Ring special about his father and his family, Brian Pillman Jr., the former Warrior Wrestling Champion. The Prince, Trey Miguel, was the one who was able to dethrone Pillman Jr. And look at that pumped up face there right now. If you'd had a bottle of water, I'd have swear that was Triple H right there standing ringside. And Trey right now, no messing around. That is all intensity right there on the face of Trey Miguel. Connection that Warrior Wrestling champions have with the Warrior Everybody Wrestling fans. You hear the uh, ovation warrior. Kylie Ray got. You hear that ovation that Trey Miguel is getting here tonight. And the thing about pro wrestling, I hate to say independent wrestling because I don't view Warrior Wrestling as an independent promotion. We're much bigger than that, I feel, at this point. But in the world of pro wrestling, it's about who's on top in the moment. It's about who has the clout right then and there. Who can sell all the t-shirts, right, Rich? Who's, who can sell all the little buttons? You want to do that? You want to prove you're at the top? You want to take that spotlight in this moment? You take the Warrior Wrestling Championship. And that's what that's what Lee wants to do here tonight. Lee knows he's arguably the best. You got, you got time to start ar stop arguing. Time to prove it right now. 
Lee Moriarty, Tiger style. See where the uh, the jersey and hat of the uh, the Henshin Tigers. Japanese baseball league, and we are off. Yeah. And this is going to be a lightning. Yes. I've heard of the rubber meets the road, but I think we're watching rubber meet the canvas right now. Both these guys like buddy the way they're able to move around the ring. Sunset flip, cover. We're already able to uh, get free. I think. I'm sure what Miguel was going for there. Well, both right now, both these guys trying to the test each other. Yeah, process. they're, they're testing sure. each other right now. You know. Sure, you know, do you do you have an idea of where your opponent's gonna go, but maybe you can hook an ankle, grab a wrist, you know, something like that that the, the opponent's your opponent's not gonna expect, you know, maybe early on in a match like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lee Moriarty. This would really be a statement for him. And uh Nice spin there, Trey Miguel, hammer lock, feeling that, pull, going right up, his tricep at the moment, nice escape, into a hammer lock of his own, and Moriarty trying to turn that around. He trusted his momentum there to be able to spin all the way through, which may not have worked out in his favor since he still seems to be locked up by Trey. Lee dropping all of his weight down onto that right knee or left knee. Like a chest match early on. And what is he? He's literally no, tying him up like a knot. Yeah, this is the stuff I, I've no. seen from Moriarty in the past, and I don't quite know how to describe some of this. It, he's so quick in the way that he's able to tie people up. It's uh, it really is impressive. Talk about impressive, you know, it's just impressive that Warrior Wrestling even, look at, kind of like Michael Jackson-esque, the way he's <laughs> gliding around the room, uh, ring there, moonwalking from move to move. And Miguel, with his weight down on the left shoulder, yeah, that's one way to get the crowd into it, right? It's embarrassing right there is what it is for Lee Moriarty. Oh, look at that escape. No. Counter after no. counter after counter. And tying up his legs here is Lee Moriarty. And Trey here trying to swap backwards. Not really sure where to go. Trapped on his belly. And Lee sliding nicely into position there with that side headlock. You know, it's. Uh, I was going to say it's a... Uh, it's really a testament to Warrior Wrestling to even make a match like this happen. You know, Trey Miguel obviously re-signed with Impact Wrestling, huge star over there for them. Lee Moriarty just drafted over to MLW. That'll be his first chance to really be on a big platform. They're going to be on Vice TV now after Dark Side of the Ring. You're not going to see matches, interpromotional matches like this many other places, Rich. It really takes some uh, strong connections and determination to make shows like this happen, honestly. It, it really does, and we've talked about it before that you know, Warrior Wrestling in, in many ways, 2021, uh, similar to, well, it's like the Houston wrestling of the old days where Paul Bosch was able to bring in competitors from all over the place. I'm sorry, wait, I just kind of fell asleep. What are you talking about? I didn't know that you pulled out a textbook about pro wrestling. Are you a historian or something? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Nerd, whatever. Ask him again. Yeah. Trey Miguel. Yeah. Trying to find his footing here. Are you, Rich is still very upset about that, by the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? I'm Paul, that, I'm Paul, Paul Bosch. Uh, well, I'm saying uh, that this is an all-star wrestling event. Nick. Yeah, but a goo. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. This is an all-star wrestling event. You want to talk about all-star wrestling? No. Okay, cool. Look at Trey Miguel here using those core muscles. Pick himself up, put him on his head yeah. here. Well, isn't that what we're watching? Yes, professional wrestling. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Woo! And look at that, both men backing off here after a really grueling two, three minutes there where they were trying to, you know, again, just trying to get some fingernails into a crack there to, to peel back something to work with. Yeah. We saw these two earlier today have a little exchange during FanFest. 
Yes, we did. Yeah, we watched that video back, and a lot of people were questioning, you know, whether or not these two really have a dislike for one another, or is it playful back and forth? You know, I, again, like I said, I think Lee Moriarty was just playing games here with Trey Miguel. You know, obviously both of these guys are premier athletes. You're going to be able to go, you know, I, I, I don't know, this match could go an hour here. You know, I, you're going to be able to go all night with either one of these two. A wonderful near fall attempt there. And Lee Moriarty literally just pushing up and Trey putting all of his weight on top of Lee here. This referee making his money here tonight. Moriarty already trying to muscle his way back up. And Miguel. And these two, I, I it's interesting not wanting to let their grips go. They, you see that leap by Miguel? That was impressive. This is a very unique style of wrestling here. Neither man really wanting to back down even for a moment here, not even wanting to break grips. Mario already saw him coming, got that sharp elbow up. Come on, Trey. Big arm drag, and Mario already here looking like he's playing some games with uh, Trey Miguel here. Picking him apart piece by piece, not even really focusing on one part of the body. Legs, arms, throat, chest. And Trey Miguel not even letting getting that to a two count right there. And Lee Moriarty in the corner, wrenching away at Trey Miguel's arm. Speed ahead. Oh, look down. at that. Miguel. No. And a jaw buster to kick right to the face and drop kick there. Very nearly took out the referee. Yeah. He needs to stay out of the way. We can see all the photographers running to the other side of the ring. I love watching those photographers run around. Well, you hear that? And, and Trey up and over. Well, he had to get the referee out of the way. Get out of here. And Trey here using every one of these ropes. What's he got in store? Oh, suicide die. And toss it, Lee Moriarty. Deep into the first row of fans. I think he knocked over somebody's son. Trey here squaring up Lee Moriarty on the outside. We've seen a lot of uh, aggression, I'll put it that way, on the outside here today, tonight. The uh, referees uh, being a little loose with uh, the ring, uh, the uh, the camera cables, and look out for Moriarty. Threading himself through the ropes. And the thinking man. And taunting the fans here tonight at Warrior Wrestling. Tiger style with the One. kick to the side of the champion's head. The Warrior Wrestling title is on the line. Lee Moriarty is the challenger tonight. And I brought up earlier the Impact MLW uh, crossover here between these two. Not only going out here trying to win a little extra money. Oh, this looks like it could be bad. I hate. Oh! oh! oh man. That is how you snap your forearm right in half and Lee Moriarty. Basically challenging everyone at home and in the audience here not to cheer for him as he calls for that strap around his waist. And much like when Kylie Ray was down and out, and you could hear a pin drop in here, same thing right now. The hammer lock right into the ring apron. The fans here, man, they are in disbelief at the moment as they watch their hero, Trey Miguel, absolutely getting ragdolled and thrown all away all around here and there is a strong smell coming yeah, through here it's like a, it's like fire or something yeah, i don't know uh, there's some smoke coming through okay well i hope everything's all right if yeah. you see a little fog in here right yeah. now it looks like ah! i don't know if that's a barbecue or something's on top i think that yeah I, I honestly can't tell what that is <laughs> yeah. it's just a lot of smoke yeah. all of a sudden yeah and, and you know oh. that camera shot we just had you could see Floating by the lights. No, that's yeah. not. A, it's not an effect. It's not fun. Uh, well, I mean, let's take effect. let's take this into account here right now. You got Lee Moriarty, Trey Miguel in the ring. Yeah. They're outdoors. Oh, yeah. Lee Moriarty no. tying up Trey Miguel in his yeah. own gear. Oh. Oh. 
And now both of these men having to operate and breathe in this toxic smoke fumes. Yeah. Cover. Yeah. 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 kick out it too. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. He nearly put it away. No! He's done some damage to uh, to the elbow, to the arm, to the uh, to the fingers as well. Yeah. I believe. The champion yeah. Trey Miguel and Moriarty now. What do we say, Trey? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Moriarty. Oh. He's trying to slow oh. things down, but that could work to Miguel's oh. advantage. Oh. Yeah, this is, I'm seeing honestly a lot of similarities to what we just saw from Holiday in the last bout. You know, somebody stepping up to the champion. Oh, here we're here for the title. Yeah. And a kick out of two by Miguel. Stepping up to the champion, and you know, maybe it's the challenge. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe it had. Maybe it's been 12 months away from everybody, Rich. You know, you've been sitting there stewing, thinking, preparing, getting ready. These challengers have come in for the champions tonight and are really going hard. Moriarty tying up Miguel once again. In all sorts of ways that are almost unfathomable. And wrenching back there, stretching out the bicep muscles of, oh, and look at this as he adds more pressure slowly while also just seemingly relaxing. He gets the shoulders down. Is that enough for the title? Wow. I thought that was it, Rich. Moriarty seems impressed with himself. And Trey Miguel looks like he's in some serious pain right now. Yeah, he does. He keeps grabbing at that shoulder, and it looks like he's got tears coming down from his eyes. And Moriarty recognizing that and once again going right back to wrenching that arm. Maybe try to pull it out of the socket, totally immobilize it. And, uh... Interesting characters here tonight, Warrior Wrestling. Oh, oh sure. Fans here uh, providing yeah. oh. a fun backdrop and yeah. oh. top tier all star wrestling. Yeah. Bull Blash, Bull Blash. In the ring. Uh, all right. Yeah, well, and Trey Miguel here. Yeah. Look it out. Oh, wow. Once again, looking like he may be able to put something together. Lee Wrenching Mor back on the arm. Yeah, Lee Moriarty here yeah. instead taking him to the mat. Miguel, trying to roll him up and gets the two count. Moriarty again. Miguel. Some capoeira. Some dance fighting right there, Rich. Yes, it is. Trained with the, uh, the legendary Gyro. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. I've heard of him. Somebody picked that up. Uh, Trey Miguel, the champion, is in a lot of trouble here because uh, I'll tell you what, the challenger Lee Moriarty has found ways to inflict punishment and pain that, in, in situations that you probably otherwise wouldn't think is possible. Yeah, no, I mean, but that's the thing about Lee. And the thing about Lee as well, when you put him next to Trey, it's the size difference, right? He's got a couple inches on him. I'd say 20 pounds on, on Trey Miguel. Everything that he does lands just a little bit harder. Yeah. Miguel again. Converted yeah. oh. atomic drop. Yeah. Oh. That time, suplex cover floats over. Yeah. Oh, that's not enough. The submission. Yeah. I think he knew he didn't have him there. I think he knew he didn't have the three count. Yeah. Moriarty again. Oh, oh. Standing waist lock. Oh, beautiful Ooh. kick right there to the knee. Yeah. Stomp to the back. Is this enough? The champion to put it away. Oh, kick out in two. And Trey Miguel doing all of this while clutching at his right shoulder there. You can tell that the champ has certainly been beaten down here. And the fans starting to, to make some noise right now. There it is. Almost like a conductor, Nick Allison. I feel these people, Rich. <laughs> I feel the energy in this room right, or this in this field right now. Uh huh. And Lee Moriarty here, uh, very interesting, going to a <coughs> ground position to kick off Trey Miguel there. Yeah. Oh. Moriarty looking for the suplex. Miguel making himself yeah. heavy. right onto the temple, and again driving that knee into the temple of the head. Of Lee Moriarty. Slides behind Moriarty. Yeah. No, it is Miguel. 
Yeah. Oh no! And that is devastating. Look at that. All of his body weight on the lower spine of Lee Moriarty as he wrenches away underneath that jaw and Moriarty able to punch him off. Only one way out. That's the only way to do it. And that was it. And Miguel here regrouping and and I don't know how he's going to be able to do anything with each about each part of his body here is badly and bruised and beat up as it is. Head to head here are he and Lee Moriarty. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Yeah. And Trey Miguel here. Yeah. Oh. You hear the exertion coming from the ring. You see the sweat flying. You see the, the fist flying. Who has enough gas left in the tank now? Well, it looks like both these guys are ready to roll. We got a race here to the finish line. As these two men give it all, they've got a preview of Mayweather Paul, perhaps, for tomorrow night. Both thinking clothesline. And both thinking crossbody. Well, you know, Rich, you come prepared for the environment you're in. One, two, three. Both men are down. If Moriarty gets to his feet for, uh, first, before the 10 count will be a new champion. Is that how this works? Miguel can't get back up. And Mori already does. I thought it was like a count out. I guess it's a knockout then. High knee by Moriarty. Uh -oh. Nice variation of the German suplex. With the leg hooked and Miguel. Well, small package, Moriarty for the title to put it away. No, reversed and back and forth. Big super kick by Trey McGill. And I think Lee Moriarty is 100% dazed and confused in this moment. Again with a German suplex. And Miguel has to put some emphasis on it. And just really tying him up here into a knot. And it looks like he's got the arm trapped. And uh, yeah, Moriarty's tapped. Moriarty is tapped. That's it. Break that. Go. Winner, 